What's going on? This is Edward, your host of Buzz Cooking, and today we're going to be making chicken cordon bleu. Subtract the ham, but we're going to replace the ham with some seafood, some lobster, some shrimp, and some salmon. So buckle your safety belt, because I'm taking you guys to Flavor Town. I want to introduce you guys to the co-host of the show, some Corona Cerveza. salmon, we're going to need some chicken breasts, boneless, some lobster tails, uh, fresh shrimp, some breadcrumbs, gray poupon, pardon me, do you have any gray poupon? Butter, we're going to need some garlic powder, we're going to need some flour, string beans, and potatoes. So the first thing we're going to do is prep the salmon because we're going to cook it and we're going to prep the shrimp and lobster tails because that's going to go into some boiling water. Yeah. Salmon's going in the oven for 450 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 22 minutes. Let's work on the lobster and the shrimp. Alright, so I'm boiling the water. I'm going to put the shrimp in there. And uh, next goes the lobster. The trick with the lobster is you want to take a pair of scissors and cut down this side of the shell. It makes de-shelling easier later on. in the ice bath to stop the cooking. You don't want it too rubbery. And now let's work on the chicken while the potatoes are starting to boil. So we cut that chicken in sort of uh, a butterfly fashion, but they're still kind of thick. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to beat the meat. So 
the salmon's cooked, the shrimp is cooked, the lobster is cooked, and now what we want to do is kind of mix them together um, and then wrap it in the cheese, which is going to be Swiss cheese and mustard cheese, and then wrap that inside the chicken sleeve. So now we have our salmon slash lobster slash shrimp mix. And now we have to roll that up in some Munster cheese, some Swiss cheese, and then roll that up in the chicken breast. So we have our chicken quarter in blue. They're gonna go into this egg wash. And from there, they're gonna go into this flour bath and then back into the egg wash and then back into the breadcrumbs and finally onto the tray. the oven to 450 for the chicken cordon seafoods and uh, right now I'm going to make the mashed potatoes. So finally, the oven's ready, so I'm going to put them in. I'm going to put them in the oven for 25 minutes. I ran out of beer, but look what I found. Two beers, two Jaeger shots, and now I gotta put the green beans to boil. Silver tongue devil. Whoa, that Jaeger put me over the edge. Right now I gotta make the, the sauce that goes over the chicken cordon seafood blues. It's gonna be butter, milk, uh, flour, and a little bit of grape poupon, and a little tad of garlic powder.
is all done, it's time to plate it up and then give it a taste test. It's about time that I bite into this thing to see if it's good or not. I'm gonna give you my honest, non-biased review of this because I don't think a seafood uh, chicken quarter blue has been done before. Something I thought would be good, but let's give it a try. I'm not gonna give it a 10 out of 10 because everything's a 10 out of 10. But this is a 10 out of 10. But I'm not gonna give it that, all right? I'm gonna give it a nine point nine out of ten all right you got the shrimp the lobster the salmon the Dijon mustard I mean you really can't go wrong it's not too spicy it's more on um, you get the spice from the Dijon mustard but um besides that it's just all the flavors come together and they complement each other really well I did a knock up job on this always if you like what you see Hit the thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, tell your mother, tell your sister about it, leave a comment down below, and until next time, buzz cooking.